Rise up! I have had many people suggest the solution to the psychopaths in control is to rise up. The problem with rising up is that in the eyes of the psychopaths in control, they see us as animals and caged animals rise up. This justifies to them putting us down. This confirms to them that we are animals. And while they have virtually all the money, they control plenty to eradicate most of us. But accepting what we have now is equally abhorrent. They move to control our lives 100%. So what can we do? We can't rise up and we can't abide. Neither will give us freedom, just death and continued slavery. There is a third choice. It is the better choice. The better choice is to prove we are gentle ones. Rather than initiating violence or giving up, we have the choice to walk away from their systems. When one grasps that the whole is built on our consent, even though we are never told this directly, and that making subjects of us is an offer, we can see that we can counter the offer. If we respond as subjects, implied consent has been given to the offer. A gentle one will not refuse the offer of another gentle one. A gentle one will make a counteroffer if the offer is not acceptable. If one refuses an offer, it creates controversy, and only animals create controversy, justifying being treated as such. So, we have the offer that the psychopaths in control have made to us to be subject to the systems they have put in place. As gentle ones, a counteroffer is in order if we find the offer untenable. When an offer that is not acceptable is made, a counteroffer should start with expressing that we will accept that offer if, and follow that with our conditions. An example might be an offer to take something from you. You might say, I will willingly give that to you if you jump off a high cliff. If the offer to be subject to the systems in place is made, as gentle ones, we might say, I will be happy to be subject if you prove I am subject. If we have withdrawn consent from the systems publicly, there is no proof we are subject. Yes, the minions may not grasp this subtlety and choose to be bullies. Animals are bullies, not gentle ones. We may explain that yes, they can bully us, but all they are proving is that they can be bullies and not that we are subject to the systems. Indeed, they may choose to persist in being bullies, and we, under duress, may need to capitulate to their force. But in all this, we must never willingly give answer to questions. I will be happy to answer that if you prove I am subject nor comply with any request. I will be happy to do that if you prove I am subject. 
Answering questions and fulfilling requests is consent, is acknowledging the systems, is tacit agreement that they have power. We can first validate who we are dealing with. Are you asking as one human to another or in representing the system in question? If we are dealing with another human, we can fulfill the request. If not, we would best not do so. Persist even if bullied to jail. Persist even if bullied to court to counter all offers with your own. I will be happy to engage this court if you prove I am subject. How much time is reasonable to give you to prove I am subject? I'll give you an hour to prove I am subject and then I am leaving here freely. On any summons offer to make you subject, write, I will be happy to appear if you prove I am subject. On any tax bill, write, I will be happy to pay this if you prove I am subject. But, you might ask, how can I function? What about my job, my services? I need the money to survive. Well, that is solved for too if you act as sole authorized service provider for the name corporation they set up using your name at birth. You announce publicly that you will service that corporation, that straw man, at your convenience. As our planet was stolen from us and the systems forced upon us, it is under duress that we must choose to service the name corporation. In return for servicing the corporation, you get perks, food, clothing, shelter, utilities, sundries, etc. given to you by the corporation. You get money for providing the flesh and blood needed to fill in forms, sign documents, do the work, etc. But if it is not convenient for you to go to jail, say, for something that is not unethical, you needn't provide the flesh and blood. They can take that name corporation, that legal fiction, that straw man off, if they can find it. Of course, if you have done something unethical, you will be responsible for the consequences. Imagine when most of us have withdrawn consent. Envision the power the system won't have. See the freedom we will have. When we get free energy out in the open, removing the need for accounting for our energy, we all will live as richly as we each might choose. We can govern ourselves stigmergically through the free flow of information, reporting problems on the web and drawing in solutions. We can respond personally to help. We will no longer be tied down by money constraints. For details on the foundation we can build for a truly free and ethical society to emerge from, see the playlists on my channels. The only winning move is not to play the game. Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity. Love always. Humanity will win.